The electoral bill, President mm. Buhari has refused to sign the electoral bill. Mm. A lot of people say that is a sign that the APC are trying or are planning to rig the, to rig the 2019 election. Do you think that is the case? And if, in your opinion, that is the case, what is PDP doing about it? You see, the life is dynamic. And that dynamism arises from the progress that the society achieves at any given point in time. From one election to another, we learn a lot of lessons. And the primary responsibility of the electoral body, INEC in our situation, is always to try to improve on the previous election in the next election. And that is why we've seen amendments to the successive electoral acts we've had in this country. Now, the basis for these amendments could arise either from field experience that INEC and their officials had seen in the course of conducting an election, or from judgments that come out from the tribunals, stating as it were which way things should be done and which way things ought not to be done. Now, for a president that has come out to say he was going to enhance and improve on the electoral system with a view to ensuring that there is better election, there is more transparent election. And coming again from a president that has been a major beneficiary of improvement in the electoral sector reform that had been done by PDP-led federal government, one would have expected that President Buhari will have done much more than what he has done. That is, when you look at even the history of this particular amendment, this amendment started from INEC. INEC approached the National Assembly, came up with a, a cocktail of proposals. The National Assembly examined them, took them to Mr. President. He raised comments. They went back, took his comments into account, again took for further additional recommendation from INEC, took back to him. He raised observations. They came back now to take care of all the concerns that came out of his observations, only for him now to refuse to sign it on the premise, among others, that the time was so short. So for me, Nigerians should begin to distinguish between Nigerians, Nigerian politicians precisely, who will talk and then leave their talk, and then who will talk for the sake of rhetorics. But I feel that the saddest day for democracy in this country was the day President Buhari was held assent to the 2018 electoral bill. And I think, uh, yes, a lot of permutations have been made, a lot of uh, insinuations have been made, but we in PDP are not scared. We're not scared of election any day, anywhere, any time. Because even as APC, as a party, is not poised to rig the election, we believe as politicians that are well experienced that you can only rig where you are popular. And we know from the way Nigerians have now come out all over to reject APC, to tell them we are tired of your antics, to tell them we are tired of your rhetorics, to say we are tired of your so much talk with that action. I believe that it is not going to be possible for APC to rig that election. And we are prepared for them. We have been speaking to our members wherever we went in the course of our consultations, in the course of our campaigns, in the course of our rallies, to be very vigilant. And Nigerians have not shown their eyes. They are not going to be taken as they were before. So we live to see it. But between those that are in government, and between those that are seeking to take over government, who has more obligation, who has more responsibility to ensure that there is peace in the land? It is those in government.